The year is 1832, and a scientist is on the brink of a discovery that will change the world of sports nutrition forever. In his lab, Dr. Michel is isolating a unique material from skeletal muscle, and he names it creatine. Fast forward to today, and this molecule has become the cornerstone for bodybuilders, athletes, and health enthusiasts around the world. But what exactly is creatine? And how did this 19th century supplement evolve into one of the most researched and revered supplements of all time? I'm Dr. Kate Henry, head of medical education at Rupa Health. And today we're gonna to be talking about creatine and if you should consider taking it. Let's get started. While many people associate creatine with bodybuilders and strength athletes, its benefits extend far beyond the realm of muscle development. In fact, creatine isn't just for muscles. It plays a pivotal role in brain health, vitality, and cognition for both men and women. Creatine is an amino acid that's found primarily in muscle tissue, but also surprisingly in the brain. It's nature's way of helping to produce and use energy during activity. The body makes some creatine in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. And those who consume red meat and seafood do get some creatine in their diet. Creatine is mainly stored in the body in the form of phosphocreatine. And supplementation increases the body's stores of this form. Essentially, phosphocreatine is this form of stored energy in your cells that can help them make ATP which is your body's energy currency, which helps with metabolism and meeting your body's energy demands so that you have energy to go do things like run, walk, play, and think. So let's break down the benefits of this multifaceted molecule. Athletes, both seasoned and novices, can use creatine as a trusted companion on their fitness journeys. As they lift, sprint, and push their boundaries, creatine is right there, amplifying muscle mass and strength. But it's not just about the gains. It's also about the power surge that allows for peak performance, all thanks to the body's now bolstered ability to produce more ATP, our energy source at its core. But the realm of creatine extends beyond the muscles. Venture into the intricate corridors of the human brain and you will find creatine playing a pivotal role. In cognitive areas, creatine shines, enhancing short-term memory and executive function, which means your ability to think and plan for the future. There's evidence that whether you're battling fatigue, depression, or recovering from a concussion, creatine offers a helping hand. It even enhances BDNF production, which is essential for new learning and memory. Because creatine also helps to prevent muscle mass loss, it can help to slow the signs of aging. Of course, it's always essential to talk about the risks and benefits of a supplement side by side. Creatine is fairly safe. It stands the test of time and the rigors of research. Now, creatine does affect the way your body absorbs and hangs on to water weight. And so if you've got kidney issues, this could be a problem for you. You should always chat with your doctor before starting any new supplement anytime. And creatine is no exception. For most people, it's safe. You may have heard some things about creatine leading to dehydration or cramping. This could be because of the way it affects water distribution in the body. Again, if you're a high-performing athlete, make sure you're working with a nutrition professional, your trainer, and your doctor before bringing creatine on board. If your doctor or nutrition professional has cleared you to take creatine, the next question is, well, how much should I take? And what form? The most common, well-researched form of creatine available on the market is creatine monohydrate. While other forms of creatine do exist and are sometimes marketed as being superior to creatine monohydrate, there's not a ton of research about those forms of creatine. Regarding dosage, a dose of about five grams per day of creatine has been linked to both athletic and cognitive benefits, but it can take up to a month to start experiencing those benefits. Some experts recommend to start with a specific loading phase of creatine where you take more for a specific period of time before you back down to your maintenance dose of five grams per day. This could look like taking something like 20 grams per day for a few weeks. Again, you have to talk to your doctor or your nutrition professional to figure out exactly what's gonna be best for you and to make sure that your kidneys can actually handle that amount of creatine. When people do load creatine, they tend to split it into four or five doses per day. Taking creatine alongside a meal or a snack that contains proteins, fats, and carbohydrates can actually help with absorption of creatine and maximize the supplement's benefits. In the vast world of supplements, creatine emerges as a versatile ally, not just for those looking to build muscle, but also for those aiming to amplify their wellness holistically. Next time you hear about creatine, remember, it's not just about the gains, it's about your brain and so much more. Before you go, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos on health and wellness.